So today I will show you how you can connect your Blender with Unreal Engine. So it's a very easy workflow you can do with any software. It is not just for Blender. I hope this will work for any software like Maya or any other software. So what we are doing, we are using a format called UST. So you heard about FPX, GLTF or OBJ format. It's a kind of a format and that is USD. So we will use USD to connect our Blender with Unreal Engine. Suppose you can see this is the Blender viewport and what we can do if i just add a i will just scale uh not scale but i will just duplicate this thing three times okay and now you can see we have a light in this scene we have three cubes and we have a camera and blender so what i can do i will just click on file make sure that you select everything file export and you will see an option of usd universal scene description you have to click on that and you have to just select a directory i will just uh, go for a simple directory and i will make this thing uh called blender to unreal you can write anything it doesn't matter and then in this one you will see some options so you have to click on selected only if you are having any kind of animation camera animation you can check this box also if you are having any kind of here in your scene in blender or any other software you can check this thing also i will recommend you to just uh, check everything it doesn't matter and in the material you can see this is looking something like that and you can just leave this thing like this and you can just press export so now what you will see you will see an option of blender 2 unreal usd c file so this is unreal engine so before doing anything you have to go to your plugin and you have to just search for usd and you will see a option of usd importer and you will see this option also usd multi so you have to enable this two option and then you have to restart your engine so when you restart your engine uh, i will just create a folder called usd so now what you have to do you will get a usd stage editor there and if you're not getting this option what you can do you can just go to your windows option and you will get a option of usd stage editor and i'm using unreal engine 5.4 and in other version it may be in different place so you have to check this box and you will get this usd stage editor and in this one you have to just click on the file and in the file you have to click on open so in the open you have to just go to your file where you export your usd file so this is my usd file you have to just click on open and now you can see we are having the three cubes we are having the light also and we are having the camera also that is crazy and the fun part is this is connected what you have to do suppose for example if i just add a mm, mesh and the mesh is a monkey cube okay this monkey and if i just press everything again and file export universal scene uh, scene description and if you just override this thing like you have to just select your previous usd file and you have to export that thing what will happen if you go to your unreal engine again and if you click on file and then there is option of reload if you reload this thing the monkey cube is there and you don't have to do anything like you don't have to ex export anything you don't have to do anything the monkey is there you can add anything it doesn't matter if i just duplicate this cube again shift d and like this something like this now you have to select everything just go to file export there you will get a universal select your previous file usd and you have to just override this thing just click on export it will automatically override everything and what you have to do i will just cancel this thing you have to just go to file and you have to reload you see there we have the three cube with uh with everything okay so like this you can connect your blender viewport to unreal engine this is the best way and it is not only limited with blender you can use any software so if the software support usd export and import then you're good to go you can use this trick or you can say the process to connect your viewport with unreal engine so now you will say that i want to change the material in blender suppose if i go to this cube and if i go to the material section i will just copy this material and in this one i will make this thing around pinkish color so if i go to the material you will see this is a pink material so you have to just again select everything file export usd click on this one and you have to make sure that the uh where is that option material this material is checked you can check everything and you have to just export usd now you have to open your unreal engine just go to your file and you have to just where is the reload yeah you have to just reload now you can see we have this cube with material also and you can similarly export the animation also so if i go to the blender and suppose this is frame number one i will just give a location this area and i will move the camera in this angle 
and they rotate this thing like that it will just give a location so now you can see the camera is animating this is moving like this and now if i select everything again file export usd select your folder export go to unreal engine file reload now you will see the camera is also animated you will not see any kind of animation in this one the reason of this is because this is just a kind of a link object okay this is not properly imported in unreal engine so in order to import this thing properly in unreal engine you have to just click on the action and you have to press on import you have to select a directory i will just select the usd one and you can just press ok you will see something like this option you have to make sure that you enable actor this one and you will see all your meshes and everything and you have to just press import okay now you will see you will get our option of blender to unreal and you will see a level sequencer option and in this one you will get your camera animation also so you can see we have a camera there and you can see we have this camera and this is animating also so you don't have to do any kind of fpx export or anything you can just connect everything and it will be good to go so you can see the all the keyframes are baked in and you can do this thing and there is a catch when you import your uh, this files or this everything into unreal engine you can't reload your stuff now because it is properly imported into unreal engine and if you want to do that thing again then you have to just uh delete everything this uh, blender to unreal engine folder and you have to open the scene again then only you can do that connection stuff that if you're changing anything into blender it will be automatically transferred to unreal engine so this will work only before importing once it's import into unreal engine it will not work so i think this will help you and yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching